Which machine should I use? Part 1. The 3D Printer This video is the first in a series of three videos intended to help a student decide which of our making machines is the right one for what they want to make. In the Science Maker Lab, we have two desktop filament type 3D printers. These are great machines and they'll make complex shapes that are very difficult to make any other way. They'll do it pretty precisely and repeated prints will be the same size to within small fractions of a millimeter. One is also capable of making fairly large parts, but it gives up a bit of quality to finish to the smaller one due to being older technology. Both are great machines in that they create very little scrap as the part is built up from melted and refrozen material instead of being created by removing material or cutting a shape from a sheet. Formula One race car pistons are made on 3D printers these days because of the ability to control internal structures to minimize weight while maintaining the required strength. They take about 12 hours to print and cost about $50,000. They also require a 3D printer that works differently than ours. These machines cost seven figures. Our printers can't print in metals or create a finish that you can use in an engine, but if you can use our 3D printers, you also know how to make parts using theirs. We just print in plastic that prints well, but isn't that strong and gets pretty soft if it's exposed to heat. That all said, our 3D printers do share one characteristic with the ones that Formula One uses. They are slow. A part 100 millimeters by 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters takes over an hour to print. In fact, our most complex part that we printed took 72 hours. So if you're looking to make complex shapes with complete freedom of design and you need it accurate and repeatable, but the part doesn't need to be strong or have a perfect looking glossy smooth finish, the 3D printer will do the job. If you need something cheap and fast, they are not the right tool. Frankly, if you can make what you want to make on a 3D printer using a different method, it's almost guaranteed to be faster. As you can see from the photos, we've made everything from keychains to molds for intricately patterned rubber hand grips on the 3D printers. They are easy to use, so very little training is required for a student to be able to safely operate a 3D printer unsupervised. This is probably one factor in why they are so popular in academic makerspaces. Well, that's it for the 3D printer. In part two, we'll cover the laser cutter.